Hello everyone and welcome to Hot Rich where you come to get amazed. When it involves wealth, there are a few of groups that include royal families, those who have wealth beyond our imagination. While you will imagine flying around on private jets, royal families are taking their private helicopters to their 500 million dollar yachts. But there is no royalty more wealthy than the royalty of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's ruling royalty features a net worth of about 1.4 trillion dollars which is 16 times quite that of British royalty. The family has one of the four most massive fortunes on earth. Today we are going to take a look at the royalty specifically the Prince of Saudi Arabia Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. We will explore his rise to power, his dozens of lavish properties and even the controversy and corruption that swells around him. So Muhammad ibn Salman ibn Abdul Aziz Al Saud, also mentioned as MBS, was born in August 31, 1985. Member of the Saudi royalty who served as Minister of Defense in 2015 and the prince was elected as a prince of Saudi Arabia in 2017. He is the son of Saudi King Salman bin Abdul Aziz and his third wife. And you can say the most favorite one. From a young age, Muhammad was curious about government, shadowing his father and remaining conscious about his image. Along the way, he learned the way to communicate with a good sort of dignitaries and to avoid indiscretions. He attended King Saud University in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in law in 2007. He married Princess Sara Binte Mashhoor in 2008 and the couple has four children. As according to sources, Prince itself has a net worth of $10.4 billion. There are a lot of facts about the prince, which includes arresting of senior royal prince Ahmed bin Abdulaziz, former prince Mohammed bin Naif and his younger brother Prince Nawaf bin Naif, a relative and an individual on the brink of the royalty told the days. The prince is understood to be a workaholic who spends 18 hours a day in his office, consistent with the Guardian. But he reportedly doesn't take criticism well. People who try to say no even gently and diplomatically faced consequences. The Saudi royal family's empire includes Saudi Aramco, the state-owned oil giant that reached a record high valuation of $2 trillion after going public in December 2019. That makes it the four most valuable company within the world, outstripping the market capitalization of the most important US giants, including Microsoft, Apple, and Google's parent Alphabet. It's worth quite Berkshire Hathaway, Facebook, and Amazon combined. Saudi officials had been seeking a valuation of $2 trillion for the corporate, but most banks had patched their initial estimates much lower. Aramco announced a revenue of $68 billion within the first nine months of 2019, making it the fourth most profitable company within the world. Time magazine has reported that the new king of Saudi Arabia, Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, maintains a private jail for errant princes and spendthrift princesses who neglect to pay their bills. Isn't it amazing having a personal jail with all the luxuries for the royalty itself? Uh -huh. Salman and his family owns 10% of a media empire that owns several major newspapers. When it comes in terms of spending millions, Prince never comes slow. In 2017, the 34 years old Prince Mohammed bin Salman spent $450.3 million for Leonardo da Vinci's 500 year old painting, Salvatore Mundi, purchasing it through a proxy. It's not end yet. The prince has paid over $300 million for the Chateau Louis XV, located in France, called the world's costliest home by Fortune magazine. The Chateau has 10 bedrooms, indoor and outdoor pools alongside a cinema, a cellar and a moat with transparent underwater chamber. And most of the interior is also gold-plated. The prince is reportedly trying to show off for a football club, which is believed to be Newcastle United, within the Premier League after failing to accumulate Manchester United. Many human rights organizations have reached bend the Premier League, insisting it to damn the sale of any English club to the prince. Setting his poor human rights record, including the killing of Saudi dissident Jamal Khashoggi. 
And when comes such massive wealth, we should be able to get an idea of how precious the life of Crown Prince is. Crown Prince takes roughly 100 bodyguards at a time. That's the reported number of bodyguards that the prince took with him when vacationing within the Maldives. He spends almost 80 million USD annually on his security. He owns several yachts, hundreds of cars, helicopters and private jets, including a 500 million euros yacht which was first bought by Bill Gates in 2015 and a private jet which cost his 177 million. That's all for the member of a family worth more than a trillion dollars. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave us a comment about your thoughts on this. We will see you with the next video. Bye-bye.